Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to limit the amount of characters that you can have inside of a text field and text view with Swift and Xcode. So, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so let's open up Xcode and create a new Xcode project, and this will be a single view application. Click Next. Our product name, I'm just going to call this Limiter, but you can of course call this whatever you want. Our language will be set to Swift and our devices will be set to Universal. Click Next and Create. Now let's go ahead and make this a bit bigger. Head over to our main.storyboard and we're going to click and drag a text field onto our scene as soon as I can find it. So right over here we have text field. Click and drag that right in there. And then I'm going to drag it out to the edges like so. And then I'm also going to right click or control click and drag from my text field over to my view in the hierarchy right over here. I'm going to center vertically, center horizontally, add the trailing space and the leading space, enter. And now we're going to open up our assistant editor. And right inside of here, I'm going to right click or control click and drag from my text field that I created over to the viewcontroller.swift. And the name of this text field, I'm just going to call this my text field. You don't want to call this just a simple text field or that will get confusing later on. So now connect. And then now we also need to go right up here where it says class view controller and UI view controller. And then right after UI view controller, you just add comma and just say UI text field delegate. So now it's going to delegate how the text fields all work. Now we can close up our assistant editor, head over to our viewcontroller.swift, and inside of our viewcontroller.swift, alongside the UI text field delegate that we created right here, we can just type in text field. And right in here we say text field should change characters and range, and we just want this whole thing and just tab that in. Now it's waiting for a return value of a bool value. So basically, if it returns false, we don't want to add any more characters into our text field. Or if it's true, then we want to keep adding our characters. So in order for us to do this, we can easily just say if our range dot length plus our range dot location is greater than that of our count. So we're going to count our my text field dot text like so. So we're counting how many characters are inside of our text field and we're going to compare that to the range that is created right here. So now let's go ahead add an open curly bracket enter close curly bracket and inside of this so if it is greater then we want to return false like so. Now if it is returning true we want to say let our new length equal and we're going to make this equal our count and then we're going to count our my text field dot text and then we're also going to say plus our count. Then we're just going to type in our string like so. This string is created right up here. This is going to be our replacement string, meaning everything we're typing in. So now after this, we go minus our range dot length. And then we're going to return a value of our new length is less than or equal to five. So in this case, it's saying if our new length is less than or equal to five, meaning our text field has less than five characters or less than or equal to five characters, then we can keep typing. Otherwise, we won't be allowed to type any further. And it looks like this needs just a space between that. Now, before we build and run this, let's head back over to our main.storyboard, and on this text field right here, it doesn't really know that this viewcontroller.swift is the delegate for it yet, so we're going to right-click or control-click and drag from our text field over to our viewcontroller right up here in the top hierarchy, and we're going to say delegate. And now, if we were to build and run, you should see that we are only allowed to type five characters. Now, you can change this, of course, just by heading over to your viewcontroller.swift and changing this to, say, 20 characters. And now we can build and run this. And as you can see, I can only type 20 characters in there. All right, so now let's do this with the text view. So I just have a brand new project right here. View controller is empty and our main.storyboard is empty. So inside of our main.storyboard right here, I'm going to click and drag a text view onto our scene like so. And that, I'm just gonna let it fill the scene like so. And then and now, and then now we're going to open up our assistant editor, right click or control click and direct from our text view over to our viewcontroller.swift and the connection type will be an outlet and the name of this I'm just going to call this my text view. Again, you don't want to be confusing on the names, so say connect. And now if we were to actually build and run this, this text view would be off our scene. So I'm going to right click or control click and drag from our text view over to the view itself. And we're just going to say equal heights, equal widths, center vertically and center horizontally and return. So now that should have our text view working properly. Now inside of our view did load right here, we're going to say my text view 
dot text will equal, and this is just going to be open quotation mark, close quotation mark. So we don't want anything inside of our text view. Now we're also going to set our delegate for the text view over to our view controller dot swift. So we're just going to right click or control click and drag from that to the view controller and say delegate. Now let's close out of our assistant editor, head over to the view controller dot swift and say class view controller UI view controller and then go comma UI text view delegate like so and then down here we can say text view should change text in range like so now inside of this we want to say if our range dot length plus our range dot location is greater than and this is going to be count and we're going to count our text view that we created so just type in my text view dot text like so. So we're counting how many text characters are inside of our text view. Now after this, you just do open curly bracket, enter close curly bracket like so. And if this is true, we're going to return false. So we don't want anything to be typed into our text field if this is true. Now down here, we need to go down here and we're just gonna say let new length be equal to, and this is going to be count. And we're going to count our my text view dot text. Now after this, we go plus and we're going to count our text this time and basically we're counting the replacement text right here as you can see and then we're going to say minus the range dot length and now right underneath this we can say return new length and we're going to make this less than or equal to say 25 or whatever you really want so this is basically meaning if the characters are less than or equal to 25 then this should work properly now if we were to build around this so as you can see I have my text view I can click on this and just start typing in and as soon as I hit 25 characters it will not allow me to type in any further now I could of course change this to 144 characters if you want and now we can build and run. And now if we were to type in 144 characters like so, it should stop us. There we have it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more tutorials like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.